I'm making a quick video today as a warning. It's a very serious situation. I hope everyone takes this seriously. Please stop using the distribution Linux FX. And I'm not playing. I never tell people what Linux distributions to use or not to use. But in this case, Linux FX is a very dangerous situation here. I made a video about this just a couple of days ago. Uh, proprietary distro Linux FX has user database compromise. What Linux FX is, it's a Linux distribution themed to look just like Windows 11 and it's designed to attract Windows 11 users to using a, I guess, free version of Windows 11, you know, this Linux distribution, but it's not really free. It's proprietary software and it's paid for software. You actually have to register it and you have to activate it with a key, just like you do on Windows. It looks and feels like Windows 11. You get this pop up and say, hey, you need to activate your copy of Linux FX. The problem is that database uh, was compromised. It was out there in the open. It wasn't anything that was complicated to to get into either it was a very easy database to just anybody could go and grab and this database shared everyone that had ever registered for linux fx it shared their their name their email address their ip number and some other superfluous information and this database was so easy to compromise that it's hard to take this linux distribution seriously and i mentioned that for me I mean, even when I first took a look at this distribution about three months ago, this distribution just reeks of a scam, right? It looks like it's just a bait, right? It's a, a bait to try to trick people into using this Windows 11 clone. I, I also think that this Linux distribution is going to have some legal issues for ripping off a lot of artwork and fonts and, you know, trademarked stuff that uh, Microsoft obviously will own. So th this is... This is not a distribution I would recommend anybody to use. As a matter of fact, when I took a look at Linux FX three months ago, I specifically said several times on that video, do not use this Linux distribution. If you need to use Windows 11 and Windows only software, please use Windows. It's probably safer to use Windows than this distribution. And I'm right, <laughs> like this distribution. So they had this major compromise. And what makes it even worse is people let them know about this compromise. So they fixed it, right? So this is their ticket system here on SourceForge. And people open some issues for a distribution that wrongfully claimed they had a million users. Because on their website, let me go back to the website to show you how shady this distribution is. What tab is their website here? I scroll to the bottom. Over 1 million users worldwide, except when their database was compromised, they had just over 21,000 users listed in the database, right? So it is not a million users. It's only 21,000 users. And it may not even be that many that are really active these days because when the database was compromised, these guys, I guess, took the database down. And what it did is it made everybody that had already registered for Linux FX, you know, it, it deactivated their keys. So they had a few tickets opened on the, uh, the source forge here, but just a few like just three or four so apparently not that many people thankfully were using this but it doesn't look like they really took this seriously because all they did was they changed the way um this activation process is done so there is a new post now over at kernel.eu that's kernel k-e-r-n-a-l and this is the same site and the same author that let us know about the uh, database breach the other day he said well the they tried to fix it but they did even worse this time around trying to fix it because it's even easier now to get username and password for the database and still get all the information so this was the uh, article from two days ago let me go to the home page here and there's this new article linux fx revenge of the skids and it looks like their solution to solving this problem was to change the uh, activation client binary so the linux fx register program it uh, basically disables sudo privileges when you're running that program so you can no longer sudo some kind of command and get the information you know like a password and stuff like that because it disables sudo it disables sudo by using pkexec kill all dash nine sudo pkexec is another program that gives you super user privileges so anyone using tools like bpf trace can't use sudo with it so they really can't get the information you know about host name and a password and things like that that was previously working. The problem is, okay, you disabled sudo with that particular graphical application, the Linux FX register application. 
And you did it by using PK exit kill all sudo. Well, PK exit gives you super user privileges. So you can just do the same thing using PK exec instead of sudo and you get host name, user, password, database, important number, everything you need to actually look at this information. And what's sad is now, instead of having this information directly on the ISO, you know, you've got, you can just get this information on the web and it's so easy to get the website. I'm actually going to show you the web page. This particular website, the string of characters here, <laughs> that's the password <laughs> to the database. Uh, and this URL here is username, host name, IP, database name. <laughs> Guys, I, 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 please, I, and this is not a joke. Stop using Linux FX if you're using it. Immediately stop using it. And if you know anybody that's using it, tell them to stop using it and spread the word around the community that this distribution really is really shady. Like no one should, has any business using this thing. This thing is a very dangerous piece of software. And I just wanted to put that out there today. Before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of the show. Devin, Dustin, Gabe, James, Maxim, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, West, Wine, You Bald, Homie, Alan, Armor, Dragon, Chuck, Commander, Randy, Dio, Kai, Dylan, George, Lee, Lenny, Ninja, Marstrom, Mike, Jan, Alexander, Peace, Watch, Medora, Polytech, Reality, for Let, Red Prophet, Stephen, and Willie. <laughs> these guys, they're my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen. Those are my supporters over on Patreon. If you want more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys, peace. I swear an eight-year-old can design a more secure distribution.